Hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Caught me reading. Uh, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon, in India, the whole world, including the submissions that you are sending to me. Especially you, Ron, from New York. I'm gonna read the letter real quick. Uh, longtime supporter of your business and uh, outstanding armbruster products. It's just armbrust, but that's fine. Uh, it's a weird name. <laughs> as well as your YouTube channel. Thanks, man. Please keep up uh, with the neat content. I've watched almost every single mask review. Whoa, Ron, you got a problem. A problem. I don't know. Have you seen Netflix? You heard of it? I'm just kidding, Ron. Thank you for being a supporter. I really appreciate it. And actually, I'm super excited to test the uh, Air Queen mask today. So without further ado, which is how you pronounce that word, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. Um, the Air Queen, very, very popular mask, uh, very well known, probably the brand name of the KF94 format, uh, which is one of my favorite formats. So they got great branding, good, good name recognition, Put in the clamp, looks good. Let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. I'm using the NIOSH test here. Check out that link if you want to know how this machine works. Basically the same test that you'd use on an N95. Air Queen, very popular. If you search for KF94, this brand is going to come up often. Just like if you search for surgical mask, our brand is probably going to come up often. Um, the uh, KF94 format is just, ah, ah, when it comes, when it comes to, I've never done that before. Ah, it feels good. When it comes to masks, uh, they, uh, they're a Korean format, which means it needs to be made in Korea. Um, and uh, the Korean uh, FDA is just really particular, a lot like NIOSH is, where they consistently test manufacturers and hold them to standards. So if you've got that KF94 um, stamp of approval, and actually, to be honest, I don't see it say KF94 on here. So maybe it's not a KF94. <laughs> I'll open the other package here. Um, they, oh yeah, Air Queen calls it a nano mask because a nano uh, tech is supposed to be very breathable. This one's not super breathable, to be honest. I've seen a lot better on KF94s. This is, I'm at 195 Pascals. I actually don't even have the standard, so I don't even know if that's within standard or not. Um, but that is actually not the best that I have seen. Uh, I've seen way breather. Like our masks are about uh, 120 uh, Pascals. But I've seen N95s as low as 100 or break 100. So let's take a look at the Air Queen. It's pretty good, but honestly, I'm, I'll test the ear loops in a second. I want to put this on. I only have two masks. I've seen better. Big difference between uh, a KF94 and N95 is N95 is going to give you a head strap around the head, back of the neck, which is going to give you just a, a much better uh, a connection there. And this is a little big, but I think they make them in different sizes. Okay, I'm gonna call this smell a floral arrangement gone wrong. You know, it like sits in the vase a little bit long. It's like, hey, uh, uh, thanks, Samantha, for the flowers, but we should have thrown them away last week. Okay. Uh, the, um, yeah, it's, you know, actually like, it, it feels very breathable, but it's, it, the one thing that's nice about this format is it gives you a lot of breathable area. It feels very light, but honestly, I'm not super impressed. I thought it'd be a lot more impressed. I am so impressed with the KF94 format. And actually, I don't even think this is a KF94. I'm not seeing it anywhere on the label. I can't read Korean, though. So maybe it says it on there. But typically, they say it on here. So I'm not even sure this is a KF94. The one thing that is unique about KF94 is tested a lot of mass on this machine. I've never had a KF94 fail. But this may not be a KF94. All right, let's try this, uh, the ear loop test. Yeah, see, I figured that that wouldn't be the best, um, but I, I only have one to test, so I didn't want to break it before putting it on. All right, but does any of that matter? If it doesn't protect you, let's see what's going on with the KF94-ish machine. Oh, no! No, Air Queen, no, 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 no. Now, this was sealed individually. I, I didn't buy it, so I can't verify the like what condition it was in, but these bags are pretty good i mean the individual sealed bags are pretty good at protecting things and this is actually very surprising 92.74 now kf94 the 94 stands for 94 percent filtration 
clearly not meeting that standard. With the breathability on the VEC, like, I don't know. I'm sure that many of their mass tests higher, but most KF94s are in the 99% that I test. So as far as this format goes, this is the worst one I've ever tested. I'd choose a different one. Dr. Peary, that one was fire. Little plasticky smell, but I really like that one. Um, Air Queen, sorry. Can't recommend it, at least not this one. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, send me some more, I'll test them. All right, thank you guys for uh, looking at this and for viewing. Uh, if this was helpful, if you were gonna buy the Air Queen, you're like, ah, heck no, Lloyd says no. Um, you know, give me a like or subscribe. Or if it was the other way around, if you're like, I just hate Lloyd's opinion. And so that's why I watch every single one of his videos. And I am stocking up on the Air Queen now. Give me a like, I helped you. I'm just saying, I did. All right, thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you on the next test.